Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video we will go through how to make a connection and program a Siemens KTP Basic HMI. I already made some programming in my main block. And made a data block that I added all tags I want to connect with my HMI. If we go to Devices and Networks tab, we can add an HMI to the project by clicking Add New Device. Then we choose the type of HMI we use. Here in the PLC connections we can select our PLC in the project to make a Profinet connection. If we now go back to Devices and Networks tab we can see that our PLC and the HMI is connected with a Profinet subnet. At our root screen of the HMI we can add different objects and elements to the screen from the toolbox menu. You simply click them and drag them to the screen. I will add a button and name it Start. If I now right click the button and go to Properties we can do some settings for the button. If we go to Events and click on Press then go to Edit Bits and choose Set Bit while key pressed. This will make the button trigger only while being pressed. Then we can connect which tag we want from our PLC project. I will make the button a litter bigger. Then copy it and add two more buttons. I will now do my settings for my second button, I want this one to be a toggling button. To do so I go to the click option and choose invert bit. Then choose which tag it should be connected to. My third button I will leave it as set bit key while pressed, but adding the tag I want it connected to. I will now add a numeric template. If we now go to its properties we can change the format pattern. Since I will only count up to 50 I will just go with two numbers. Then to connect it with a tag we click here and choose a word or integer tag from our project. I will now add a circle that I want to work as an indication lamp. If I go to the Circles properties, then to the Animations tab we can set some animations to it. If we open up Display then click on Add New Animation and then Appearance we can choose so that the circle will change color while the connected bit is triggered. To do so we choose a tag from the project.
Then we add two new ranges. One should be set to zero and the other set to one. Here we can set a color we want it to be when it is on or off. I will keep the gray as off but change the on state to green. Then I will copy and paste another one and connect it to the second lamp. Now let's open up the HMI default tag table. Here we can see all our HMI tags that are connected to the PLC tags. I want to change the acquisition cycle of my tags from 1 second to 100 milliseconds. This will make the HMI react faster to our tags. If we now go to Devices and Networks tab and double-click on our HMI. Then click on the Profinite port of the HMI we can change its IP address. I will also change my PLC IP address to make sure it doesn't collide with the HMI. I will now compile and download the project to my PLC and HMI. To make sure it is the correct HMI we download to we can click on flash LED and the HMI screen will be flashing. Now that everything is done we can start monitoring the program and test the project out. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe.